can't walk and you can't move, you can't stay healthy. And a medical breakthrough tonight for people suffering from serious back pain. Lower back pain is the leading cause of disability in this country. The traditional treatment, of course, for degenerative disc pain is spinal fusion surgery, and that uses a bone from a patient's hip. But the bone graft from the hip can leave the patient in pain long after the back has healed. NBC 5's Deborah Ferguson reports on a new option for back patients that should reduce pain and recovery time after surgery. Mary Sue Schick has spent most of her time in bed lately because of a degenerative disc. When you can't walk, when you can't move, you can't stay healthy. She's tried all the traditional therapies and medications with no success. So now she's having back surgery. We can stop the pain. During surgery, doctors will fuse together her vertebrae. Usually they do this using the patient's own bone taken from the hip. But this time, Dr. John Peloza will use a new FDA-approved genetically engineered protein. Instead of harvesting bone off a of patient's pelvis somewhere, we just put this material in and it will create bone. During the procedure, collagen sponges are saturated with the special protein that creates bone. Okay, we have a cage ready. The sponges are then placed inside a small titanium cage and implanted between the vertebrae to complete the fusion surgery. The pain relief is very significant as well as the improvement in their function because they're not hurting. Several studies have shown patients usually experience more pain from the hip surgery than they do from the fusion procedure itself, making recovery much more difficult. And I'm surprised that I can do what I can do. Three weeks after surgery, Mary Sue Schick is out of bed exercising and feeling far less pain in her back. They have told me, you know, that this is a 10 to 12 month real healing process. But if doctors had harvested bone from her hip to complete her fusion surgery, studies show her recovery could take twice as long. Deborah Ferguson, NBC5, Dallas. Nearly 200,000 Americans like Mary Sue Schick undergo spinal fusion surgery each year. 